the presentation was about a coalition, uh, a coalition that is advocating. And what are they advocating for? It is a coalition that is advocating for Ghana's health. Uh, it is a coalition that is engaging uh, multiple stakeholders uh, for us creating a favorable environment uh, for Ghana to implement a number of public health policies. Uh, such policies would include uh, fiscal policies, food-related fiscal policies, but of course other public health policies as well. So uh, the presentation that I gave uh, aimed to introduce uh, Ghanaian journalists or sensitized Ghanaian journalists as to uh, what we are embarking uh, upon for their critical uh, stakeholders uh, in this bit to support the government of Ghana uh, enact and implement important public health policies. As indicated, the, one of the critical uh, um, uh, stakeholders and allies in these uh, our journalists, uh, we have information uh, with us as academics, as civil society organizations, as public health associations, that information ought to get out there. Yeah. Uh, academics may be communicating um, to other academics, academics may be communicating to policy makers, they may not be able to communicate to other stakeholders that journalists uh, are capable of doing. And so we want journalists as allies in this to disseminate uh, 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 wide and far the uh, message that the academics have generated, the message that the civil society organizations have, uh, have advocated. So journalists uh, are supposed to do what journalists do in this case, uh, to help us uh, educate, to help us sensitize, to help uh, publicize uh, our content. That, development and implementation of health taxes, food-related fiscal policies uh, can be beneficial. Motivations for this intervention that is broadly termed uh, health taxes um, drive from a number of patterns. One, based on evidence, but also based on uh, global public health uh, uh, organizations recommendations like the World Health Organization. The World Health Organization um, has identified and has presented interventions that they refer to as best buys. Best buys as far as efforts to combat non-communicable disease, especially in lower middle income countries are concerned. If you look at those best buys, if you look at the effective interventions uh, and other interventions that are included in there, you would see health taxes as one of them. So we do have global, regional, and now we are generating local evidence that enactment and implementation of such a policy uh, impacts uh, uh, public health positively, but it also impacts governments and countries uh, positively, in, as I indicated. One, one such an intervention is deployed, is implemented, uh, we can have some of our products that are currently unhealthy, too much sugar, too much salt, too much you know, harmful fats, uh, reformulated by industry. And once they get reformulated, we continue to enjoy our food that are helpful. Taxes, as we already know, usually generate tax, uh, 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 revenue for government. And so these health taxes, although a special tax that is aimed to promote public health, has a positive externality of being able to generate revenue for our government. There's not a single government anywhere on earth that is sufficient uh, that, 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 that can say they have sufficient resources. Government continue to find ways to generate resources. And so uh, an intervention like this would be killing you know, two birds, the single stone, by promoting health and generating revenue for our government. And that's what all citizens want. My, my advice to the government would be that they should do the right thing. And as far as such policies are concerned, we do have evidence. We do have uh, 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 global and local evidence that this is the right thing to do. That governments should come out with you know, effective public health policies and, and implement them. What we are actually advocating for is not just a single policy, say SSD tax policy, but a number of public health policies that are bundled. We have referred to them as double duty policy bundle. Double duty in that Ghana is battling undernutrition, but also overweight and obesity. And so if we have to come out with public health policies, those policies should be responsive to both extremes of our, our, our nutrition uh, you know, problem.